Here's a guy. Uh, I love uh, this man. Uh, I love having him uh, on the program. And uh, I think it'll be fun to, to see him, uh, catch up on old times, maybe take a couple of strolls down memory lane, anything you want. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, you know him, you love him. You can't live without him. You've heard about him. You've read about him. You've seen him on color TV. <laughs> the one, the only, Regis Philbin. <laughs> Thank you very much. Regis, you look fantastic. I, I try to look nice for you tonight. You look great, and you look uh, summery and yet ready to go. Are you still wearing wool? What, what is that? I don't, I don't know what it is. Maybe I am. I yeah, don't, I yeah. Don't care. It's, it's July, you I know. know. Uh, listen, I have a, a question to ask you. Well, Not time, about Anthony Weiner. No, no. The, the last time Don Rickles was here on, yeah. on the show, there was supposed to be a gathering, and I couldn't attend the gathering. That's right. And, and, and I felt bad, uh, and I apologized. I was there, I remember. You were there, yeah. So, so it was, is Don uh, Rickles angry that I couldn't attend? Well, you know, this was a, a uh, tribute to Don Rickles at the Friars over Club. At the, uh, over at the... Uh, Waldorf Astoria Hotel, and I've been the there ballroom. a thousand times, yeah. like we all have. Beautiful. I've never seen it so, so cluttered. You know, it was just packed. Packed, yeah. Packed with people. Mm -hmm. And every comedian, every young comedian, old comedian, uh, got up there and, and, and made a reference. It was a tribute. It wasn't a roast. No, I said it was a tribute. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, and, and you know, the funny thing, uh, Dave, is this, is that, you know, Rickles has never used the word to get a laugh. Is, you know, I think that's true. Never. Yeah. Because he, he didn't Doesn't need, need to. to. Exactly. So the guys who were going up there were all told, hey, don't. Yeah, because it. he doesn't want sure. to hear it. So they were all pretty, pretty good. Mm -hmm. You were about the only one who didn't show up. I, you know, I, I can't. And, and Rickle said, well, why, 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 why do you think Dave can't be here in person? I said, I don't know. Why, why couldn't you make it? People wanted to see you. Rickles, Rickles, you know, he loves you. It really would have been nice for you to be there. What night, what night was it? What, 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 what it was night? a Monday night. Monday, oh, that's the night I eat glass. <laughs> I said he's busy, Don. He doesn't go to these things. Yeah. You know, I, 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 tell I, you I covered for no, no, you. I'll tell you the truth. I, I'm tired of going to that Waldorf Astoria ballroom. Every time I go in there, I bomb like hell. <laughs> they, the bomb-sniffing dogs yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, hyperventilate yeah. when I go over there after I'm done. You go there for a charity event or something? I'm sorry. Yeah. I bomb like crazy. Yeah, I'm just not going anywhere. I wouldn't even stay. I wouldn't even sleep in the lobby of that dump. <laughs> it is a tough place to get a laugh. Yes, it is, yeah. Uh, well, you know, it's great to see you, and God bless you, and thank you for being here. And, well, thank and, you very much. Uh, I got some photos here. Let's take a, let's, uh, take a little stroll down memory lane. Uh -oh. Tell us, tell us uh, uh, maybe we have the information here. This is the famous Brown Derby restaurant. Is it still uh, up and running? No. This used to be on the Wilshire way downtown, right? It was on Wilshire way downtown. Mm -hmm. It was in various places. The Brown Derby restaurant. It was shaped like a, a big hat, the Brown Derby. Yeah. And you'd go in there and you could order the yeah. Cobb salad. Absolutely. It was, it was noted for the Cobb salad. Yeah. Now, what, what about the, uh, remember Chasen's? You go into Chasen's, what do you order in Chasen's? At Chasen's? Chili. <laughs> He's right. You're right. Another great restaurant. <laughs> Sorry, I, well, I, think I just it. didn't know if we were going to be here what all night running down the menu. <laughs> this is a Brown Derby on Vine Street. Look at yeah, you. Hollywood Bullet. Look at you. I mean, you look like uh, Vic Elford. <laughs> Who's Vic Elford? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know who that is. No, you see. Who is it, Vic we, Elford? No idea. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but look at you guys. How old were you kids then? I was 12, and he was about 18. No, seriously. I, I bet you're in your 20s there, aren't you? Probably in your 20s? No, my 30s. 30s. Wow, what a kid. And you guys had, were just We took a walk every day. Mm -hmm. You know, the Before first the day of the show, he was very nervous. I'm, I'm, I'm sure you were, too, the first day of your talk show. Yeah, you can't not be. So uh, the producer, Paul Orr, came to me and said, why don't you ask Joey to take a walk? That's a great idea. And relax him. So I went over to Joey Bishop, and I said, Joey, uh, why don't we take a walk? You know, just... 
uh, you got, I got so many things on my mind. He was really terrified. So I went back to my desk. Are you listening to me? Yeah. <laughs> Here, I want to talk. Is there anybody here who cares? I forgot to point this out. Look at this. Look at he's smoking a cigarette. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Did you smoke? Do you want to hear this story? Or not? I, I, I'm sure I've heard it, but yeah, I do want to no, hear I, it. I, I but never, did, did I you, got, did you hey, 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 did you smoke? No. Okay. <laughs> Where was I on my story? You, and, uh, you and Joy are taking a walk. Me and Joey. Me and, me Joey. and Joey. Me and Joey. Yes. Uh, I hope there wouldn't be this kind of trouble. <laughs> Vic Elford, Formula One driver from London. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I, knew, I knew there was somebody That's great, guys. named Vic Elford. Okay. okay. Hey, uh, are we all happy about hearing that? <laughs> so, you and Joey go for a walk. Me and Joey. So... He comes, 10 minutes later, he comes back to me, he says, let's walk. Mm -hmm. And we walked every day for three years. That's great. Paul and I should, should do that. It's not too late. Let's do that. Wait, where are you let's, two going to walk? Let's take a walk. We let's can take walk a walk. Or we walk know, down Broadway. Right now. Let's take a walk right now. Yeah, do you mind? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can't go why outside. should we be any different from no, the people at home? <laughs> You've got, you're like the invisible phantom. You understand? People okay, never see enough. you no, other than behind see, no, the no, desk. No, that's fine. Now listen, I don't even okay, see you other than okay, behind right, the desk. Here's another, here's another. Uh, but you're memory, a nice looking Here's man. another memory lane photo. Let's look at this. What is this? April 26, 1967. There you are. That's yeah. the Joey Bishop show. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Regis and the hair on the kid. Wow. That's how it all began. You know, I, uh, in those days, I was working at a television station in Indianapolis that carried the Joy Bishop. No show, kidding. And, and I would watch the show each and every night. No, are you serious? I'm absolutely How'd serious. How'd you like us? Oh, I enjoyed it. I Did thought you? it was great. Yeah. What I always thought was interesting was, uh, speaking of material that suits and coats are made up, uh, 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 Joy always seemed to have like a tweed yes. uh, sport coat he on. Did, and I thought, I thought that looks uh, unusual for Southern California to be have, wearing a, t a No, I think tweed. you were right, yeah. 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 <laughs> Were you doing sports for the for your station? Then? Weather, weather. Did weather, yeah. Never did sports. No, never, never really no. did sports. No, you've got that. Uh, uh, here, let's look at this. <laughs> this is fantastic. You, you, my friend, have palled, uh, uh, wined and dined with the greats and the near greats all your life. Uh, Jack you, Benny. You, you, you've Jack been Benny blessed. Was, uh, to know Jack Benny is a true blessing. You, you're lucky. But that Jack Benny was like a father to Joey Bishop, to all those comedians. Johnny Carson they, loved him, idolized uh, him. They all loved yeah. him. He, he was just a great guy. You didn't know him, huh? Uh, no, never met Jack Benny. <laughs> Guess you were doing the weather when they... Probably, probably was. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you one thing, though. One day I saw walking down the street in my hometown, I was just a kid, uh, Jack Benny and his uh, longtime manager, who then later went on to manage George Burns. Who, who am I thinking of? Uh, uh, Vic Elford. I got it. Over here. Yes, Paul. Irving Fine. Irving Fine. Oh, That's Irving exactly Fine. right. You're absolutely I saw right. uh, Jack Benny and, Paul. and Irving Fine. Well, this is not who wants to be a millionaire. Well, <laughs> you're the one who keeps bringing it up. Final answer. Final answer. I mean, first we gotta find out who Vic Elford is, and <laughs> we gotta Irving Fine. <laughs> Who's next on this I show? I don't know. We'll be right back with Regis, everybody. <laughs> Good we look. Nice. I mean, our our combined age is over 200, but look at how good we look. <laughs> I mean, we look like guys, you know, having yeah, a good time. Yeah. Now tell me, uh, how's your health? I heard there was a thing and you had it taken care of. Yeah, there was a thing. Uh, I found that... Uh, I was having trouble walking more than more than two blocks, and I would my, what, my pain or something. Uh, but yes, pain and, and an aching in my hips. Now, have you you had a hip replaced? Didn't you? I had a hip replaced. So you yeah. thought maybe trouble with the hip? Well, no, I thought it was trouble with the legs. So I went in and finally got an MRI, mm -hmm. and my arteries were clogged with uh, plaque. Oh no, I don't want to hear this. When you say clogged, uh, top to bottom, or just in one location, or where? No, in both locations, leading into all, all the way down. Yeah, leading into the hips. No, no, the, the hips. Wait, wait a minute. Wait. Oh my God. No, no, you said you said my arteries were clogged. Yeah. So that suggests to me from your heart uh, all the way down to your feet. Right. Clogged. Right. Well, 
not down to my feet, but in through here, in through my hips, my buttocks, <laughs> and down into my thighs. Inactivity, inactivity. <laughs> That's maybe, he's, maybe he's right, I don't know. <laughs> I can't help you so with that. But let me tell you what happened. So I got these MRIs done early in July. And the doctor says, yeah, yeah, you know, we're going to have to put some stents yeah. in that have area. You, have you ever had a stent? I've had a couple of stents. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but, but this was really a, a, an operation type. Oh, I know all about this. Where, now, where do they put them? Where, you go one on each side, yeah, bilateral. Right, right here. Right there. See, right. You see, it's right before. The, You're okay, everything going up and out of your heart. That's all right. okay. Right. Comes down out of your heart into your groin area. Yeah. And then it splits off into your legs. Right. And that's where the clogging is. Right in here. Right in there. Yeah. Now, by the way, I've never, I've never heard of th this. I mean, usually yeah. they're concerned with from, you know, from the belt up. Well, they put these, he put the stents in, and he put on two big bandages. Mm -hmm. And they said, you know, you can't take a shower or a bath now for a couple of days. Right. I mean, because uh, we don't want anything infection. Mm -hmm. But I knew I was coming here on your right. show, your big show. So, on your behalf, I took a shower anyway. Thank you. Thank you. Just for you. Now, would you... Would you, uh, that, would, that's, that's some would you take a shower for me? Yeah, I'd take a shower for you. But I'm, I'm concerned about this because if there's clogging in your uh, arteries of uh, servicing your legs, that must mean perhaps clogging in other arterial uh, areas. Well, maybe. And maybe it could lead to that. I'm not sure. But we'll your see. heart is okay? Yeah. You got to worry about the ones going to your brain, too. <laughs> Dave was very nice to me when I had to have a triple bypass because he had had a quant quintuple, quintuple. Uh, before I did. So I called him and he gave me advice, gave me the doctors, gave me the whole, told me the whole you, thing. You were concerned. Everything was great. And the night before the operation, <laughs> I couldn't sleep. I was nervous. And so I tuned you in. Mm. And you were very hot that and your night. your short wave set. <laughs> I tuned him in, <laughs> and he says, well, you know what's going to happen to Regis? Tomorrow morning, he's going to report to the hospital, 6 a.m. They're going to strip off his clothes, <laughs> put him on a gurney, roll him into the operating room, and bust him open like a lobster. I, I, now, wait a Excuse minute. Excuse me. <laughs> How is Regis supposed to sleep after that? As awake all night. Uh, yeah. Bust now, him up like a lobster. Now, now, you think a, that's funny? No. <laughs> no. I, I found out... No. Not funny. I made a grievous mistake that night. Here's the mistake I made. Yeah, let's hear it. First of all, I had assumed you had announced your medical plans to your viewing audience on your show. That's what I assumed, because you talk about everything yeah. on your show. Yeah. And, I, and, and so when I announced that it was happening the, the following day, I didn't realize that I was betraying a confidence. And I'm, terrib no, 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 I'm no. terribly sorry no. about that. No. No, 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 no. But, but now, now let me get to the other half. The other half... Uh, Having been through it myself, yes, uh, and and referring to it in a in a kind of a jocular way, uh, and invoking the cracking of the lobster and such, I, I, th what is I thought so jocular about busting I, him open like a lobster. <laughs> What's so it's, funny it's, it's about that? It's because it had happened to me. The joke really is on me. The no, joke the joke wasn't on you. It was you. more about me. No. You said this is what's going to happen to Regis. Yes, but I... <laughs> Not about you. But I... If it ever happened to me... Why did... I couldn't sleep a wink. Not a wink because of you. But it, it all turned out great. And, <laughs> and, and you... I think, in looking back on it, you appreciate the heads up. No. <laughs> You gave me the right doctors, you gave me the right everything, mm -hmm. except, you know, and then every night, you know, I'd be in the hospital like this, <laughs> and one night he would say, you know, Regis is in the hospital. <laughs> you know, he's had some surgery, but it hasn't been the first surgery he had. Remember? 
few years ago, he had Kathy Lee disappear. <laughs> Why? Now listen. Um, the, the, the important thing is that you're feeling fine now and everything, everything's good. You don't want to hear about these things, do you? Well, I'm, I'm sorry. I can only apologize so many times. Oh. The first day I came back, after six weeks, and incidentally, he said, yeah, Regis is going to be in the hospital six weeks. You know what that means, don't you? Facelift! Oh, well. <laughs> heart! My heart! <laughs> no. All right, I'm sorry about that. No, it's been too much. It's yeah. been too much. And okay. then he finally came. You don't see this man anywhere else. You don't see him do any of the shows. But he was nice enough to come to my show a couple of times. But when I came back out of the hospital, the first show, I said, please ask Dave to come. And he came. And we had a great time. You were, you're a terrific guest and a lot of fun. But then that night, <laughs> he says, well, I was at the Regis show today. Yeah, yeah, he's back. Uh, yeah, you know, uh, he's a changed man. I saw a nurse changing him backstage. <laughs> It's pretty good. <laughs> it's a change, man. I saw a nurse changing him. Uh, but it's just, it's nothing but It's fun. all in fun. Yeah. It's jocular. Yeah. Jocular. Now, this, um, uh, the crowd goes wild. You have a new sports show on uh, Fox. Uh, August, Fox Sports yeah, 1. Uh, August 19th. That's right. Uh, are you looking forward to it? Oh, I really am. Yeah. Uh, 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 and uh, don't read anything into this, but why would you do this? <laughs> I got a little. <laughs> no, I, uh, I've been out of it for about a year and a half, and I thought sports. You know, I love sports. It's just to get you out of the house. That's all this is, isn't it? You know, who, who else is on the show? We got a great big uh, uh, defensive end, who uh, 14 years in the NFL, two Super Bowl games. His name is. Um, <laughs> I know the guy. I, just, I just spent the weekend with him. Uh, Travis, uh, honest to God, isn't this? This is really embarrassing. What is it? Yes, Travis Price. What? Trevor Price. Damn it! You see what you've done? I didn't do it. No, you don't. But this is the kind of thing you're going to get every night on the Fox Sports Network. I'm sorry. Trevor. What did I come in here for? Oh, sit down, Regis. Trevor's a great big guy. He doesn't yeah, like that. You don't no. fool with Trevor. Well, God bless you, my friend. It's great to see you. This and is it. I have this big uh, payoff. Well, no, you can stay. You want to stay? No, that's okay. No, no, I, no, no I don't want to stay. No, you want to no, stay? No, you got Terry. We got we got Terry a, no, this guy's great. You He's absolutely fabulous. I know this. him. Well, I've why don't you stay for this? No, no, no. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. No, I don't want to. No, I don't want to. We'll be right back with Terry Fatter, everybody. No, no, you're right here. We'll be right back. Sit down.